So you want to travel to Asia, Europe, Africa. Well, it's not going to happen this season because, well, we got a little friend called COVID lingering around. Most of you all are probably thinking about what are we going to do this holiday and where are we going to travel? So a lot of you are going to hit the road, but you're going to do it unsafely and unhealthy. So we want to show the right ways to position yourselves so you can have safe, long drives and have a great road trip and then come back and feel good. All right, before you head on your road trip, you need a few essential items, especially for the driver's side. We'll also do another part where it's the passenger side. If you need the chair set up and where the steering column goes, we actually have another video. Please check those for more details. So today I'm gonna quickly go over those a little bit, but not in full detail like I normally would. What you need on your road trip is, well, your handy pillow. I prefer 100% down feather pillow. We love those. And if you have happen to have one of these car neck pillows, this dog bone shape is the way to go. You can pick it up on Amazon. There are all kinds of prices, 15, 20 bucks probably uh, at most. Uh, we always like these good products. And then if you have a old sweater or towel, just a regular terry cloth hand towel, that's gonna be the goal for you, especially those long drives, longer than an hour, you wanna be able to support your sacrum. What a lot of you don't know when you're the driver is that the vibration of your car creates a desensitizing nature. So you can actually drive probably fine for 15, 20 hours straight, but the moment you get out of the car, you've been, you've been desensitized from the pain, just like a little massager, a vibrating massager, you don't feel it. So that's why a lot of you will end up with crooked backs on your road trip if you didn't watch this video. So let's get started. What we're gonna do here is you're gonna take that, you don't wanna roll it, you wanna make it flat. So I would say it's just about half and then half. You wanna put this right in the nook, right here. That's where that's gonna be because of this angle, you gotta just fill in the blanks. The next spot, like I said, there's a cool thing with these dog bone ones. You just put it right over the headrest. That's gonna rest on the curvature of your neck. So that way you can be as flush as possible against this seat. Now this is a great type of seat because it's wide. A lot of these bucket handle ones sometimes put us in weird shapes, you know, depending on our body, body type, body style. So this is great. We wanna basically fill in the blanks or fill in anything that needs support. Now where this comes in in a little bit is when we're just driving straight, whether it's these, these straight lanes, not a lot of the winding roads, I prefer not to use that, but that's gonna be a place for your elbows so you're not leaning on one side or the other side. So check this out. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get right in. Now generally the, the cool part of this is that we can use, and you wanna find the right kind of place for this but you generally want to be about arm's length and that's about it I'm gonna lock that in but what this has done is I'm creating that nice support here it should feel pretty good and then with this pillow once I'm off of these crazy highways and maybe on these one-way long stretches you can do this this is the cool part I'm gonna pull this in and I'm gonna pull it against my stomach, give it a good hug, and then I can rest my elbows on it. So then I could be here. That really helps your neck and your shoulders. You're just tucking that in and then just enjoying a little bit of drive so long as the steering is more or less straight. I'll show you what it's like without the pillow. Um, and you can test try it at home. It just gets heavier. But one test I always tell folks is turn your head. If you're in a relaxed state, it's free and easy. I can move it both ways. But the moment I take this away and hold that, you can see I'm using a lot more neck muscles, all that pressure. And then of course, like I said, 
the vibrations, that's gonna really hurt our spine and our, desensitize our nerves the most. So you wanna put this back on, let's take a look again, and you can see that just free and easy, I'm not really straining as much. So that's gonna help, of course, checking your blind spots. Why not do that? You're gonna do a lot in an hour or two or five hours or 15 hours. So you gotta be careful, this is the way to do it. And then, yeah, just make sure you check out our other video of how to set up the right height, the right length, and we'll stay tuned. We're gonna talk about the passenger side and you're gonna need a little bit more support. So let's talk about that next. All right, so the passenger side's a little bit different. We're gonna need another pillow or another level of support. Now, if you only want to carry one pillow, you could do it the exact same way as the driver's side, where you take that pillow, hug it, and then drop your elbows. But what a lot of you don't know is that the passenger in a long road trip often is the one that gets hurt the most. Now, why is that? Well, when you're driving, you generally know where the twists and turns are in the vehicle. So you know when you're gonna go left, you know when you're gonna go right. But when you're a passenger, you're not really paying attention. So you're not knowing when you're gonna brake. So you don't really support that neck as much as you'd like. So it's really important that this is how we do it and so you can protect yourself, especially those of you who are passengers in the front or in the back. So what you're gonna need is exactly the same stuff. You're just gonna need two pillows instead. And also, uh, if you have a little purse or a little backpack, doesn't hurt, you could just use this for the foot. Uh, that way you can raise that angle so you're not you know, drooped or anything like that. Or the leg gets a little bit of a support. So we'll talk about that, but we're gonna do it the same way. And if you need to rewind and show where this ex exactly is, this goes right behind your sacrum or your buttocks in that little crease. So I'm gonna do that right now. Also, we talked about this awesome pillow. I love these. If you don't get them, you can come to the office and check this out. So that goes right around that nook right here. And then I'm gonna set up my legs first. So I'm gonna throw my little backpack, whatnot. I'm gonna put my foot right on top of it. Okay, like so. Generally, if it's longer than an hour, two hours, three hours, I, I like to be barefoot if I'm not the driver. So I'm gonna put that up to raise and support my thighs and legs. And then these two pillows, the cool thing about this is you could tuck that right in and this pillow, the length of the pillow goes right into the, the seat, seat pan. And same thing here. And then you can just rest comfortably. Now there's also a cool product called the Turtle. Uh, we, we can link that below. That's a great little thing to also support your neck if you happen to want to pass out in your drive so your head's not bobbing around all the time and you need to support that. But here's the cool thing. I want to show you guys that I, with these two pillows supported, propping up my armpits, I'm able to get good range. But I'm gonna take it away and let's see that. So this is just by my side and once again, I think I lose about 15 degrees. This is great for you guys to check that at home. So once again, if you only have one pillow, you can also just, like I said, hug it, tuck it. It's not as good, but remember, when you're the passenger, you're kind of at the whim of the driver, where, whether it's going side to side, bobbing, vibration. At least when I'm the driver, I know when to engage and kind of guard a little bit so that I'm not getting rattled. So you're probably all saying, what am I gonna do with all these pillows and all that stuff you gotta bring along on your car or in your car? That's okay. It's better safer than sorry. Uh, we find many ways to stick it in areas and nooks and crannies, especially when we're getting in and out of the car. They're definitely lifesavers. I can tell you any drive I do more than an hour and a half, I'm using a lot of these pills and a lot of these strategies just to save my back. And now I can endure 15, 20, 30 hours years later after just applying these techniques. So hopefully you guys are using this safely wherever you guys safe journeys during these holiday travels. We'd love to hear your feedback. 
And if you want to keep passing this video along to loved ones and friends, please do so. Uh, so yeah, if you like what we're doing and we've got all this cool new stuff, especially in the new year, really excited about the new year. We've got some new ideas we're going to throw at you. Please subscribe to our channel. We're always pumping out cool new stuff, healthy information, things to take care of yourself. And yeah, just make life better. Just be healthy, especially during this time. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.